let's take a look at the skills that are uh, talked about here in Google Photos Scenario 1. Uh, so Google Photos is a very uh, useful tool here in Google Workspace. It can be used to uh, store photos, store videos, and create and organize uh, albums that can be easily shared with virtually anybody. So let's go ahead and take a look here. You can start probably the easiest way to get there is go to the website photos.google.com. Type that up there in your Omnibox. And we'll, <clears throat> these are also some, some uh, photos here that uh, we have uploaded here uh, in uh, in Lana's in Svetlana's uh, Google Photos uh, account here. Um, <clears throat> so it's it's very easy to uh, to get photos from your computer there. So if you take a look here, you have the upload button right here, and you can upload them straight from your computer. And you can take a look at the different documents that you have. Let's say this one here upload this picture that's on my computer straight up into my into my uh, Google Photos. It takes a few seconds and then you'll see it uh, upload up there. Um, <clears throat> you can also do it where you automatically back up photos from your computer. So you uh, you will give uh, Google Photos permission to search your uh, computer for new pictures that are saved and it will upload it for you. And the cool thing about photos is that um, you can do you can do this for not just photos, but also uh, videos as well. So right here, this is an actual video here that we have saved uh, in Google Photos. <clears throat> Uh, so it's not just pictures. Uh, so you can set it where it automatically backs it up for you. And the cool thing is, is that with Google Photos, whatever's in your account can be, uh, you can access it from any device with a with an internet connection. So your phone, your tablet, your a laptop, or you, you can log into someone else's laptop, log into your account and have access uh, to all of these. Um, in addition, you can turn these into albums here. So let's say here, uh, I'm going to make an album of the different uh, <clears throat> images here. So let's say uh, I want to create an album. Uh, let's say I'm going to take some logos here. So this is a logo. This is a logo. So these three here are logo. Here's another logo right here for Jamboard. So we have four pictures that are logos. I want to make a folder for my logo. So up here at the top, you have the plus button here. I'm here put here create album. And I'm going to put new album. And we'll call this logos. Click the check mark here, and now we have an, an, an album just for my logo. So if we cl click over here to my albums, and it shows you all the albums that I have. Just this one right now. I open it up. You just see those four pictures that I put into that into that album. If I want to add stuff to the album later, I can. So if I go back to my photos, let's say that uh, this one here is a logo. I can check mark it. Hit the plus button. Go to album. And now I can select from all the albums that I have I have so far, and I can add that in there as well. And if, with a quick refresh, you'll see that it, it then is now been added uh, to that album. So any album that I, have, that I have open, there's a share button up here. So what I can do uh, if I want to share this with somebody, let me say here's Nadia right here. <clears throat> Click send, and now they will have access to this uh, to this album um, as well. Uh, so there's a, a lot of really cool things you can do with Google Photos uh, as far as storing your photos, storing your videos, and creating your albums and making them shareable. So you don't want to share everything you have in there, but just groups of images in albums um, that's easy to do using Google Photos.